I have a couple things I want to show in this video. Uh, first is I have an ALDL cable that goes to uh, from GM's ALDL connector to USB, and I'm I hooked that up previously on Win ALDL in another video. Um, I'm doing it again from scratch on another computer with Tuner Pro version four, and the following purpose then is uh, is I want to show how you set up the files to record data to record a data stream I had a question about that on the channel I'm going to show you how I set up the file and uh, how it logs in different sessions in the file but here goes and so I've got a, a second laptop here that I've loaded up Tuner Pro 4 uh, and I'm sitting in the Camaro with the ALDL cable plugged in. You do need to plug the cable into a free USB port to make this work. I'm just going to go back in this machine. Uh, it loaded the drivers automatically and uh, set me up with a port setting of COM3. And I went down to the USB controllers down here below. So I can find this one to the one that says serial converter and made sure whoop, doesn't have the tab um, I wanted to make sure that it had the right thing set up so one second here unplug it then we'll plug it back in There. Um, sometimes it won't show you this tab that says advanced. So I wanted to have it on the advanced setting and load VCP. Make sure that one's checked, which it is. And that was good. Uh, there's less, um, somewhat it seems less configuring than what I had with WinALDL. But um, so you do that and in tools preferences um, I had a COM port number uh, the COM port it was set on was 3 so I have to come in here and set this for 3 um, its interface type is this MAX232 um, hit this one that says test for valid cable using the settings so it says cable found and functional then in tools um, you want to make sure you come over under ALDL data logging and hit connect which I was already connected so it disconnected so I'll hit it again and it says down below here that ALDL is connected now if you want to log data you go back again to the tools and the data logging and you go to this one that says setup and I already had, you need a data stream definition, which um, there's a browse here. And that just took me back to my hard drive where I had dropped the A20.ADS. Um, uh, that ADS file. And so it knows where that is. That gives you the definitions of what's in there. And then you come over here to this one where it says select log file for record and play. And it'll go to a, you can go to a spot. And I've, again, I've got the same thing um, there. And I have one called test one. Let's, I'll make this test two. And it creates an ADL file for you. says it doesn't have one can you make it so you do leave that one open for a second and come over here to show AD show the values for ALDL now I'm going to power the car up it's plugged into the all right and then all my all my values come up on the screen so I've got 
uh, coolant temp and manifold temp and TPS is there so everything's in good shape I still had the other um, screen set up here and then there are a couple places but you can hit the record button and it should start taking samples which it actually says down at the bottom is that down in that little green box it's taking samples and it says here that it's recording I should be able to stop it comment uh, I'll just comment on it and I'll turn the car back off let's see how we do here so back if I go back under tools data logging um, and go back under that setup screen again and then There's my test 2 file. So now I ought to be able to play it. That's yeah, a session, that's test 2. And it's showing the play. And find the or you can get it up here I want to show the um, so I've got the file playing and then you need to um, select what parameter you want to have here right click on it so at this point you hit the go button and you can see that it's clicking across the screen and I don't have anything moving so you know my data is all static at the moment it says 68 degrees Fahrenheit there's a half a volt So that's the playback. Again, it's in this setup screen where you select the log file. And here's the log file that I just did. You can see the comments. It was my test 2 file. It's playing. And then if you wanted to export it, here's this button that says ex export to a CSV, which again, you would just tell it what file name you want to have and you can send the send that data out so this is the tuner pro how to how to get it set up and if you want to set up a file this one more time I'm gonna go back to ALDL logging setup select the log file that you want you can create a new one my test one actually doesn't have any data in it so it didn't really show up it was I did that before my cable was connected So anyway, you go here and select the file when you want to record, and when you want to play back, you select that same file. It should play back for you. And you can tell from the little um, slider here that it's working its way. It's, it's playing the samples that I collected. And you can see down below it says it's playing the samples. So that's how you get data set up. Um, you got the flags, and you can see what what your data looks like. Um, I haven't selected the dash parameters but it's the same thing. You right click it and say hey I want TPS there so there's the volts for TPS that it's playing back right now and these were the values that I had um, when it was it's, sh it's showing those values in the playback. So at this point I have the car up turned on the ALDL is not connected. So let's go up here and hit the connect link. And now it says it's connected. 
and the data has come live has hit record and it'll start going and it'll start recording and it's picking up samples and I'm going to go ahead and hit the throttle so we can kind of see that something changes on the TPS there I'm up to 4.1 volts but I have 20 some samples so let's stop and let's see what we get here I'm going to just call that data test. We'll say OK. And if we go to the tools and the data logging and use this one that's called setup, see here's my where, um, here's my session number two. And there was a session number one. It says data test. If I go look for the log file here, If I wanted to do it again, we're just going to do this for a test. I got four, five, six samples. Then I'm going to stop it. Call it test three as a comment. Let's see what we get here. here. It says data test 3. It's the third session. If I go look at... See, I think what it's doing actually is saving multiple sessions in a single um, log file. Every, everything um, If I went back and I selected test one, what does that one give me? And there it says test one, and there's one session. And if I go back and I select test two, then I have the three sessions that I did in that file. So it'll it'll keep adding them in. And right now, I mean, I could do the last, I could do the playback on that, and it's going to come back and give me the, give me the data that I collected a few minutes ago. So the simple answer to the file is, uh, you can set up and select and create a log file. Um, you can do them individually if you want, but otherwise every time you hit that um, play record button it will go to the file that you have and uh, and just add another session to it now I'm going to um, I'm going to turn the ignition on here and connect the ALDL right there so now it says connected now it's interesting I'm gonna put this off on the side for a second but um, the car's been sitting overnight in a 60, a 70 degree garage, and coolant temp is showing 90. So um, this looks like a difference between WinALDL, which gave me corrected numbers, and this looks like uncorrected numbers. So just a, you know, I'm going to just say it's just a point of um, of note. But if you wanted to record right now. If you just hit the record button, it starts recording. You can see down here at the bottom. And it's got, I'll just let it go for a few seconds here and we collect a few samples. And then if we hit stop, I'm going to call this one no file. Because what I did was I just went in and cleared out the files. So we'll call it no file. 
then we're going to go up here to tools. Let's see. If, let's see what we get. Tools, logging, setup, and I go over here, and it's today, and it's got a session, and it says select log file, and there's file. Um, what I had done is I put in a file called test2. That's what I was using. And so I took that file out of the directory and put it in a different place. So the directory was blank. And the tool went back and, and recreated that file and then put a session on it. So if you want to log, um, it may be just as easy as going ahead and hitting the record button and getting a session, and it'll probably ask you what kind of file name you want on it. It may be as easy as, uh, as going and hitting record, and then when you're done, uh, it'll likely ask you for a file if you haven't already defined one. And the way I did that was I went here, and I defined the file name in this window and put it in this directory where I wanted it. Let's even go a little further. I'm going to call this one test3. And then it says it doesn't exist. Okay, so now... I said yes, okay. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to record to that one. And so it says it's recording. One, two, three, four. I don't think you have to go very far. Um, and hit stop. And hit oops, a test three. And now we'll go back and find what we got. And... See, it automatically comes up with the one that says test 3. Uh, the timestamp is right now as I'm doing it. If I go look at log files, um, there's test 3 and it's the latest one. So that's, that's kind of how you get it set. So I hope that helps.